Hey, how's it going? Hope you've been well. This video is gonna be talking about my wrap. So this multi-cam black action that's going on on my Tacoma. Underneath this is quicksand, is tan. It's the tan color of Tacoma. A lot of you guys follow me, a lot of you guys already know that. Anyway, a few months back, I got a wrap, a vehicle wrap put on. And since then, I had had thousands probably of questions on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, messages, emails, in person, asking me about that. What is it? Is it a paint job? Is it a wrap? Does it hold up to branches? How much did it cost? How long did it take? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, which is cool. And I actually even asked on Instagram to ask me more questions and on YouTube, ask me more questions. What do, what do you want to know about vehicle wraps? So this video is a wrap video and it's going to be answering that. Not a wrap video like you might have thought. Uh, who was it? I think Max, Max Powell. He said, you better rap in your rap video. So here it goes. Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And that's it because I'm not a rapper and this isn't gonna be a rap video. But maybe I'll edit that out, I don't know. But this is gonna be part one of a two part video where I talk about vehicle raps. This is the first part where it's gonna be a lot of kind of Q and A and facts and things that you guys are curious about. Kind of just a general rap video. I'm gonna do a part two to this video. I'll probably upload it within the next day or two after this video is uploaded, where I'm gonna talk about my personal thoughts on the rap, kind of why I got it, the, the, the thoughts behind it, which I'll get into a little bit in this video. And then also I invited some friends who have vehicle wraps to make a little video of their own and give it to me where they talk about their experience with their rap. So I've had this rap now for a few months. I'm not an expert, but I have some friends that have had raps for years. So I figured the part two of this video would be good to throw in some other, some other input on, on the rap and their rap experience because my rap experience is just one. So check that video out. I'll link it up here when it's ready to go. That's gonna be my friend AJ, photo runner, Travis Hess, GFC, Graham over there, and then Trail Recon, Brad. So these are four dudes with four different vehicles that have had four different experiences. Some of them are like custom print and design, some are single color. So yeah, they're gonna talk about it. So stay tuned for that. And then in this video, we're gonna head over in just a second to my friends at Front Range Auto. So, this wrap was kind of somewhat sponsored by Multicam. Multicam kind of sponsored the material. This is official Multicam. Um, you can only get official Multicam from ImageCraft. So they're a distributor basically of the official 3M Multicam vinyl, which I have 500% scale. So anyways, Multicam took part in this and then Front Range Auto is the ones, they are the ones that did the wrap. I'm at Front Range Auto at a GFC meetup actually, started talking to uh, the owner over there, Anson, and I was just picking his brain about wraps because I kind of always wanted one, but I had a lot of questions like you guys probably do. So after spending like an hour answering all my questions, I was like, hey, we should do, let's do a wrap. I have a lot of questions. I know other people have a lot of questions and let's kind of combo and put together this video answering all of those questions. So Front Range Auto, I'll put their info down below. They have three locations, I think, um, in the Denver area which is where I live. Um, so they can take care of all of your needs. I'll let him talk about their company in a bit. But so the wrap, really briefly, what is a wrap? So let's start with some of the basics. Like what is a, what is a wrap? What does that mean? Is it like saran wrap? What, what is it? Uh, it? And it's basically a big sticker. So this is a big sticker. It's 3M vinyl. Uh, like I said earlier, this is official Multicam Black from ImageCraft. This is 500% scale, which means it's like five times as big, kind of like a stretched out uh, pattern of like the Multicam that you'll see on backpacks and shirts and hats and things like that. Um, it doesn't mean it gets like ugly and distorted and grainy. Uh, the, the camouflage is what's called a vector, so you can increase the scale of it while maintaining the crisp edges and stuff. So it doesn't look bad up close or anything like that, but it is 500% bigger. 
It's an outdoor rated vinyl, has warranty stuff. We'll get into that kind of stuff later. Anyway, you don't need to do this. You can get all of the multi-cams. You can get a different color multi-cam if you want. You can get solid colors, you can get other patterns, you can get custom print stuff, which we'll get into in the part two of this video. So, but basically, it's a, it's a sticker that's applied, and it's applied meticulously depending on the shop that's doing it. But basically they take off every panel, all the fender flares, they took off my whole bed, actually all the like door trim, the mirrors, your bumpers. So they strip this thing down to nothing. And they do that because they need to get the sticker, essentially the wrap underneath all these parts so it doesn't start to peel. You don't want your wrap to peel. You can take shortcuts and you can do a lot of other stuff, but essentially a very high quality wrap installation will take a long time because there's a lot of labor involved just in the prep work. Once you have it prepped, once you have everything pulled off, then you actually have to apply the vinyl, which is probably honestly one of the le less time consuming aspects of it, but still hard and an art that you kind of have to perfect uh, in its own right. So the application of the vinyl is kind of the, the step two of the process where you're applying it, getting all the bubbles out, lining it up how it needs to be lined up. And then you're putting the truck all back together. So it's, it's a big ordeal, not something that's just gonna cost a couple hundred bucks and you can just like, hey, I'm gonna do it. Uh, people do DIY it, but almost all of them take so long to do it and screw up and have a lot of regrets. But if you're a DIYer, it is it is doable. I'm a big time DIYer, but I didn't have the time or the energy to carve out to try and tackle this whole project on my own. So I left it up to the professionals. So one, to change the entire look and appearance of the vehicle. That's a really cool part of a wrap. And honestly, one of the main reasons that I got it. One of the second aspects is probably even more important than changing the looks honestly and is to protect the paint underneath um, so whenever you're taking scratches or rock chips or anything like that you can think of it as like when you get a clear bra on the front of your car depending on where you live those are super popular in colorado what it is is to protect your paint from little rock chips and sand and debris and co stuff coming up from the road that's basically that, but it's for your whole vehicle. So it's gonna protect from scratches, rock chips, weather, sun, wear and tear, everything. So while the wrap is on, your paint underneath is pristine. It is undamaged. Obviously it's not gonna protect from like serious hail or a serious dent or a baseball or a golf ball or anything like that. But like the minor stuff, the little scratches and the little chips, um, it'll protect your whole paint. So those are kind of the two main reasons that you would want to wrap your vehicle. Obviously vehicle wraps are common in like fleets and stuff like that, where people want to put their logo on there or put their company name on there, or just do something, some promotional thing. Um, so wraps are used heavily there, but they're kind of coming into more of the mainstream, I guess, a lot of times for like supercars and things like that. Uh, and a lot of times supercars, they want to, yeah, they, they want to look unique, but they want to protect that super nice factory paint job as well. So those are kind of the two main reasons that you'd want to do a wrap. And honestly, two of the main reasons that I did my wrap as well. So that's the why. Let's get into the Q and A. We'll get out of my ugly garage and get over to this cool shop. All right, so I'm here actually at Front Range Auto. This is Anson. This is where I got my wrap installed. These are the professionals. I don't know that much about wraps myself. I asked you guys a bunch of questions. Well, actually, I just, I asked you one question to ask me questions about the wrap install. So I'm gonna be going through those questions on YouTube and Instagram. Anson's gonna be answering them from a professional's point of view. And we'll get into that in a second. But Anson, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do here, what your shop is, and kind of the services you provide. Yeah, absolutely. So we're a Colorado local company that has three locations and we are heavily involved in services that relate to the aesthetics of a vehicle. Um, and not even just vehicles. And we'll do everything from a truck to uh, cut some kind of coating on a boat. Yeah, you had some boats RVs, in here just um, yesterday. Motorcycles. Um, so the services that we do range from obviously doing full color change wraps down to smaller business graphic and um, as well as window tint, clear bra, 
And then other service categories that we have could be um, painless dent removal, so that's repairing a door dent or hail damage. Um, we also take care of detail services, so it's a simple interior detail to full paint correction and ceramic coatings. And then we have a full paint and body component of our shop as well. And cool. so, um, yeah, if you get in it, if you drive it, if you experience it somewhere in the world, then we can likely have a service that, uh, that really helps in that. Cool. Yeah, so basically if you want a vehicle and you want to make it look a little better yep. or it's a little aged yep. or it's a little dinged up or you want to completely change the look and feel of it, yep. you guys pretty much do anything We are. For I mean, you know, even somebody used the analogy of like a primary care physician. Like we can be involved in the process from protecting a vehicle from whenever the point of purchase to the upkeep or the, the detail of a ceramic coating to somebody's looking to get rid of the vehicle and we can help with that process as well. Cool. Yeah. And so we're gonna get into some questions. While he's answering these questions, we're gonna talk kind of more specifics on how this is done or how that's applied or how long this can last. So I'm just gonna get my phone, we're gonna scroll through and we're gonna to get to it. All right, so one of the main questions I've been asked at least 18,000 times since I got the wrap was how much does it cost? Now this is a tricky one to answer because there's different qualities of material, there's different colors of material. I have a multi-cam 3M vinyl. So this is a li officially licensed pattern from multi-cam through a single distributor. So as far as cost goes, mine is at the higher end of cost, of like a single color or print cost. If you want custom graphics and you need that designed and those specifically laid out on different panels and stuff, that's probably gonna be even more, especially depending on the vinyl. Your cheaper stuff is gonna be a single color vinyl for the most part. I wanna turn this whole thing OD green. That's gonna be your cheapest option as far as the material standpoint. Um, we also have different costs in installation. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I know a little bit, kind of just talking to Anson through the process about it, but I'm gonna let Anson talk to that a little bit more. And then at the end, we'll kind of give some rough numbers you can expect to pay. But again, depending on where you live, depending on the shop, depending on the level of expertise or experience, depending on how much they're gonna take your car apart and put it back together, how much you're gonna disassemble yourself maybe, and the vehicle specifically, a big old truck's gonna cost more than a little Miata or something like that. So there's a whole lot of variables but I'll let Anson kind of break that down yeah. a little bit. Yeah, so if you kind of break, as you did, into two categories, one is you have a material cost, and so if you have some specific licensed material, that cost is gonna be higher than, as you said, a basic color change. Um, you, you go between colors, it's, it's not gonna be that big of a variance. Um, now, so that, if that's one side of the equation, the other side is the labor involved, and then that breaks down as well. So it's not just sticking it onto the panel, there's a lot of prep and equally, if not more prep is done than the actual installation process. So on your truck, for instance, um, every molding, every bumper, every mirror, uh, belt molding, actually the bed itself came off the truck. Everything was disassembled. This thing was just stripped to the bone, so to speak. It was, and that is 100% necessary if you're gonna get a clean product. The only reason we can stand here and you, as you look at this, see a, an entirely wrapped multi-cam truck. You don't see your original sand color anywhere. And that's the only way you can achieve that is by fully disassembling. Otherwise, if you didn't do that, you could look through various gaps and panels and you would see the former vehicle's factory paint job peeking through, um, as well as longevity of the wrap. We're trying to do it in a way that, you know, multiple years from now we'll get into longevity of these. Um, but it's, it's gonna hold up the best that it can. Yeah, so we're basically wrapping the vinyl around every edge where tucking it in a sense under every overlap, you're doing all this stuff. And that requires, I mean, that's why the labor cost is quite high because you're disassembling just, at, you're, you're disassembling this to a, a meticulous level. Yep. They pulled the bed off of my truck, had it separate. It's just, there's a lot of labor costs involved. Yep. We were talking a little bit earlier, if it's something like a special event and you're only planning on having your wrap on for a week or a month or something like that, and you don't really care about it being super detailed, they can do a quicker install, but obviously it won't be in every nook and cranny. So again, that's where the labor costs kind of vary depending on yeah. the level of detail. I went all out on just like, I'm gonna have this on here for a long time. I'm off-road, I'm in the snow, I'm in the salt, I'm beating up my truck. Just give me the, give me everything you got. And the labor cost for that, mm -hmm. for this truck with 
all of the aftermarket components and everything on it was about. So that can rent, so on your truck, um, labor alone was probably in the three to four K range. Okay. Um, and you know, we usually say that for a wrap for a small vehicle, it might be two to four K. Okay. And then a medium to larger vehicle might be in the four to six K range. And there's at least half of that is related to the removal of panels. Yeah. And most of that, to be honest, really should be done in the shop. There's some things that, you know, really competent people can do. Um, but if you don't remove this fender flare properly, um, you, the clips are actually designed to be one use. And so all of a sudden you start breaking things. Uh -huh. And there's a way to do it without breaking things. Um, but it also takes years of experience to know that. Cool. Yeah. So on the low end, like all in cost, single yep. color, pretty, you know, I'm gonna have it on maybe six months yep. to a year or something. Like what would be the all in cost on something like that roughly? Yeah, so, so for like a smaller vehicle, uh -huh. um, give or take in the 3K range. Okay. Um, and for a medium sized vehicle, we're looking at in the four to five K range and then a larger vehicle or something more involved. We did, you know, a McLaren uh, a year ago. We uh -huh. had to bring in a McLaren tech to literally, literally take the vehicle apart. Yeah. And uh, those costs obviously start going up, the more specialized. So it depends yes. on how easy it is to yeah. take the door handle yep. off or whatever. This assembly for this is quite different than um, say, say on a, some models of a Volvo where the moldings are riveted in. Okay. So, so you get from model to model and that R and I, um, the remove and install process can change. Cool. So the next question I got is, I'm gonna just gonna combine like a handful of questions into a discussion. And that's, I got a ton of questions about how long does it last? How well does it hold up? What's the care? What's the maintenance? And these are all kind of related. The, the better you care for it, the better you maintain it, the longer it's gonna last. The less you abuse it, the longer it's gonna last. Uh, there's some coating options that we'll get into that can extend the life of it, make it more durable. Um, so these are all kind of interrelated. And again, there's not just a straight up answer for how long it's gonna last because there's, again, a lot of variables in this. So I'm gonna be using this off-road. You guys probably know if you watch my channel, I beat up my truck, I'm in Colorado, get a lot of pinstriping. We'll see how it holds up for me personally, and you'll just have to subscribe to my channel and watch along and check back in six months and I'll let you know. But for now it's been holding up well. Uh, but obviously the more branches, the more brush I introduce to it, it's gonna show over time. It's gonna last not as long. Eventually I may catch a crazy branch that may rip a portion which will need to be rewrapped or something like that. But tell me a little bit about the care and maintenance that you could kind of expect for yep. a wrap vehicle versus just a factory paint vehicle. Yep. Um, kind of some factors, I know being out in the sun, mm -hmm. UV, being exposed to salt, all this stuff kind of lessens the lifespan. So just kind of yeah. talk a little Absolutely. bit about that. So lifespan on these wraps, um, we typically say, you know, three to five years. Um, you know, some of the manufacturers of the products will say, hey, there's a five year warranty. There's a lot of contingencies with that. Mm -hmm. um, but if you have a spectrum of how you care for it from this thing stays in the garage 24 seven, never sees the light of day, it yeah. honestly will last indefinitely. Yeah. Now you take it out and you leave it outside in the sun 24 seven, you drag it through branches, things like that. Um, that's the other side of the spectrum. So there's this huge range as far as what the life can be. And that comes down to um, what kind of abuse the vehicle's put through and then how you care for it. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's also some protective options, which we can discuss. So when it comes to caring for it, um, it's very similar to caring for a vehicle in a normal way. Um, with that, the more gentle you are with it, the less wear and tear. So. Uh, if you are able to wash it by hand and you're not taking a pressure washer to the edges of the panels, things like that, mm -hmm. it's going to help the longevity of the, of the, of the wrap. Um, and outside of that, you know, you're just not using any super harsh chemicals on it because you know, it is a material that can be distorted. You can change the color. Um, the, the main thing that we see over time as far as breakdown is that, you know, in that four or five, six, seven year range, depending on how uh, it's maintained, is you can start to see the color shift. And that's just the UV um, does it. it. It will do it to your factory paint, which most people don't realize. Uh -huh. um, but that's why if your car ever goes through a body shop, they can't just pull the code for the paint to match to the, what the factory sprayed because the color's no longer the same. Yeah. So similarly with this. Now, 
Something that can be done to help mitigate that is we have ceramic coatings and we provide those and there's other installers around the country that do that. Um, and that is an aftermarket, essentially clear coat. And yeah. uh, there's ones that are designed for factory paint. There's ones that we even have designed for leather, for marine applications, but also for wraps. Cool. And So it's a coating that it doesn't have to be a wrapped vehicle. Usually it's on just factory painted mm -hmm. vehicles. We'll get the ceramic coating and it's basically a protective barrier that keeps your, it, it kind of keeps your car cleaner, doesn't it? Does. It does, it's easier to maintain. Yeah. Um, things just don't want to stick to it. Water yeah. doesn't want to stick to it, mud doesn't want, so maintenance and care is easier, um, but it also does prolong uh, the life of whatever it's on because it does have a UV rejection property to it. Mm -hmm. And helps prevent scratches. Yep. It's a harder surface than your factory clear coat Totally, is. it's not impervious. You take a boulder to the car, it's still gonna damage. It's not bulletproof, <laughs> not that yet. Um, but it will help mitigate against um, light scratches and even potentially things like pinstriping um, like, like you deal with. Cool. So in, again, tough question to answer, but wraps last three to five years. If you're out in the baking sun 24 seven, don't have a garage, never parked in the shade, that's gonna lower your lifespan. If you're in Colorado, you're getting sand, salt, sand all over it all the time, never washing it, and the salt is just sitting on there doing its thing, it's gonna lower the life expectancy of the wrap. If I'm scratching it up with branches every single day of my life, it's gonna lower it. So, all that to say, no clear cut answer, sorry, but also ceramic coating can extend that. And it can actually make it stronger. So I don't have ceramic coating right now. It's something we've been talking about. I may ceramic coat it. That'll make it more resilient to scratches, which is my main concern, but also more resilient to, to UV, to salt, sand, all that kind of stuff too. So hopefully, hopefully that kind of answered the question. So that is the wrap itself. We talked about care, maintenance, how long it'll last, all that stuff. But the, the good news is, is your factory paint underneath has been untouched for those three to five or however many long years. It hasn't been getting UV, it hasn't been getting salt, it hasn't been getting scratches. So one of the main benefits of a wrap, that's why you see these on supercars, that's why you see these on brand new cars pulling off the lot, is because their factory paint is pristine at that point and they wanna keep it that way. So obviously, yeah, you can change the total look of the car, one benefit. The other benefit is you're protecting your car actually underneath. Um, so how well does it protect your car? As long as it's not getting ripped through, as long as it's not getting torn off, as long as it's not, you know, if, if a car hits you, it's not, gonna, it's not gonna protect that. But for all the little stuff, it's gonna protect your factory paint from, from fading from everything. So it has that protective quality, that protective benefit. Um, but eventually, I think if you leave the wrap on for too long and it starts showing like signs of, I think they call it like cancer or something. No, it, can, it can deteriorate at a certain point. Yeah, and then once it starts doing that, then you basically want to take it off. There's two main areas that we've seen any negative impact in long term. And one is it being applied on non-factory painted panels. Okay. Somebody had a minor collision, they went to a local repair facility. If that paint job wasn't done properly, they go to pull that wrap very well the paint could be brought with it. Okay. So, that, so that, that's one. Um, number two is that most of any damage that would come from removal is actually from the removal process, not from what it's doing to the paint. Okay. So the longer that it's on there, the more difficult it is to take off. Gotcha. We take it off day one, it takes us 20 minutes. We take it off year 10, we're gonna be spending all day. Okay. Um, and if that's not done properly, then you start dealing with, you might start ha dealing with scratching the the factory paint because okay. it's so adhered at that point. It comes like and a it's, permanent fixture. It does, I mean, you have, you have an adhesive that's been on there for a decade. So, okay. um, you know, and the more that it's in the elements and in the sun affects that, that equation. Okay, so if you're taking it off and you've maintained the wrap to some extent, removal is gonna be relatively straightforward mm -hmm. and relatively easy. Uh, if, you're, if your vinyl's been probably out in the sun for all of its life, you're gonna to wanna to take it off sooner than if it's been garage kept for all of its life. Uh, so it's protecting your paint, but kind of to a certain point where I guess it just becomes a little more difficult to remove mm -hmm. and you gotta be a little more careful in the yeah. removal process, process. All right, so that, those were like the main questions that got asked a lot of a lot of times. There are some really specific questions, some really niche questions that I'm I'll try to answer in comments on this video, but we're not gonna take too much time trying to answer them. 
The other thing is, I, some people were like, how do you find a reputable shop? Can you do this yourself? Those kind of types of questions. Um, there's some fly by night people, there's some people that are gonna offer to do a route for $1,000, um, which if, if that's what's your budgetary restrictions and you're okay with a subpar job, then, then go for it. But it's kind of one of those things where you are getting what you pay for. So if a place is like, yeah, drop it off tomorrow morning, we'll have it done in the afternoon, they're probably not doing things right unless they have like 15 guys working on the wrap because it just is a long process. Chances are it's gonna take at least a handful of days, probably you're looking at like one to two weeks typically, depending on how big the crew is, depending on if they're a shop just like dedicated to installing wraps, they may have four or five hands on deck and maybe it'll knock it out quicker, but typically, you're gonna be paying more and you're probably gonna be getting a quality job the more you pay, that's not always the case, but a lot of times it is. Um, and it's gonna take a little while. So if you're looking to pay 500 bucks and drop it off in the morning, pick it up in the afternoon, uh, wrap's probably not for you. Um, do you have any other kind of pointers for picking out shops or kind of yeah. what to be aware of? Because you guys yeah. do a lot of, some people will get subpar work done and then they'll come here to kind of get it fixed up. Yeah, we, we do a fair amount of corrective work. Yeah. And uh, and that can play out in a few different ways. Either they didn't do the proper removal of trim and so they're now frustrated because the, they wanted a really cool aesthetic to their car. Uh -huh. And it's really diminished just because you, you're seeing all these cut lines and you're seeing... It starts looking junky. It does, it does. and it's. Um, and like as you alluded to, maybe it's just not the best fit because it, it can be an amazing product, it just has to be done right. So things that factor into that is how they go about uh, the prep of the vehicle to do the install and then how they're doing the install. We get vehicles through either through uh, for vinyl or that I've had clear ball installs done elsewhere where when we pull to redo it, we actually see cut lines in the paint. Okay. And, uh, and, and that was just from um, probably a rushed install job and it was easier to cut on the car than to do it. In, in a proper method. Uh, and the only real solution in that situation is the panel needs to go through a paint and body shop. And so um, uh, other things that can go wrong is if it's materials not handled properly and uh, you can actually get weird stretch marks mm. from trying to, I mean, all of this is stretched over the contours of these body lines. Yeah. And if that's not done properly, you can see a distortion in the actual color of the, of the material. Yeah, so the, the material comes flat. It's a flat sheet, like a, like a sticker. And you have to go through a process of kind of heating it and bending it and molding it. So there's a little bit of stretch involved, but the material has a certain amount that it can stretch. There's a certain amount of radius you can curve it, stuff like that. So if people are pushing that beyond what the material is capable of and not doing it in the right method, then you can damage the material. And I'd say I've been around this and helped run a facility that does these installs for years now. Uh -huh. um, and our master uh, installer, Sam, he does it. I, it's not my world. Mm -hmm. I understand it, but even being around it, I, you wouldn't want me doing your install fully. I support yeah. him and I'll help him, but it's a highly technical skill. So the, the relevance of that is if wherever you're at in the country is finding a shop that is competent on that because it's not just somebody who can get access to material. Okay, there is skill involved. Cool. Yeah. And there's, there's lots of great places doing it. Mm -hmm. This is my first wrap. I don't, have, I don't have a whole lot of experience with other shops, but Front Range did a great job on my truck. And I have some friends they've worked with. Uh, some of you guys, if you follow me, you know a lot of them, but can recommend yeah. you guys. So if you're in the Denver area, hey, this shop does it and Anson will get you taken care of. Uh, I think that's it. We talked for a while. Sorry, I know I said I wouldn't take too much of your time and here we are like here we are. a long time later. So we're gonna wrap this portion of it up Thank you, yeah. Anson, for your no, time. Thank you. Yeah. I'll put links down below. They're on Instagram. They post a lot of, if you wanna see kind of the process, you wanna see the dudes doing your work, you wanna kind of see some behind the scenes, their Instagram's a great page to follow, actually. Uh, when my truck was in here, I was I was seeing it on your Instagram feed more than, you know, you were texting it to me or whatever. So if you wanna kind of track along with kind of what they're doing and see behind the scenes, great opportunity. A link to their website as well. And yeah, they can they can help you out with, yeah, anything dense, whatever, but talking about wraps here. So they can help you out with that. All right, man. Cool. I'll let you go. Absolutely. And Thanks, we'll Mike. move on to whatever we're talking about next. Great. All right, guys, that is a wrap. Sorry, I had to say it, the wrap 
of part one to this video. Again, if you're watching this on a notification squad, rad, thanks for hitting that bell icon. Probably the second video isn't uploaded yet, but if you're watching this like a day or more later, there's gonna be a part two to this video. I'll link to it up here and probably put it in a, a card thingy at the end of the video. And that'll get into my own personal kind of personal thoughts and experiences and gotchas as well as some of my friends. So stick around for that one for sure. And if you found this video helpful, informative, any of those things, take two seconds, man. Hit that thumbs up. Comment down below if you just want to say, hey, comments help algorithms and stuff. Also, if you have any questions or anything like that, comment them. I'll be happy to try my best to answer them. Get subscribed to the channel if you're not. It's not really a show truck, even though it may look it. I do all kinds of adventure videos where I'm taking this thing out on the trail. So if you're into that, for sure, get subscribed. Check out my series, Weekender Lander. It's a lot of fun. And until next time, guys, take care.